What's going on guys? It's Renegade G Ninja here and I finally got my mic fixed. I don't know if you can tell. I'm pumped about it. I couldn't figure it out. Uh, I don't know if you watched my last two videos, but I couldn't get my mic situation figured out. It sounded like I was like talking through a carpet or something. Bouncing Betty fail. This gameplay is from a while ago. It's when I was still using Bouncy Betty's that I didn't go to C4. It's actually an exceptionally good gameplay. Um, I don't really like the map. Like the map's okay, but it's not very like good looking i guess it's not going to draw people's eyes so i didn't really i don't know it, it, it's a, it's a cool map i like playing on it um this is an exceptionally good gameplay you might be able to get some tips from it and improve your game a little bit this is probably one of the last tip videos i'm going to do for modern warfare 3 even though i'm really not going to do that many tips but anyway off topic fixed my mic and uh I couldn't figure out what was the problem. I downloaded Audacity. If you guys don't know, I use Audacity, and I use my Turtle Beach headsets to record my gameplays, or to commentate my gameplays that I record with my HD PVR. Anyway, my computer needed reformatted. I reformatted it. I actually it didn't need reformatted. I just did it because I thought that that's what it needed, but I was wrong because it didn't fix the problem. Anyway, I downloaded Audacity again. It sounded like I was talking through carpet the whole time. I couldn't figure it out. I tried to change all the settings couldn't figure it out finally as a last ditch effort i was like well maybe i should just download a previous version of audacity maybe it's the the version of it well here i didn't know this but 1.3 is the version that i'm using now and that was the version that i was using previously and i picked up a suppressed g36c and i love this gun anyway um the 1.3 for whatever reason comes out clear i think that my mic sounds a lot better you guys can let me know um, the 2.0, which is the newest version, made my mic sound crappy. Um, I, I don't know if it was just my laptop or my download or if the program in general is like that. But if you guys are having the same problem, maybe try using Audacity, just the 1.3 version. It's a little bit older. I, I think it still does the same thing. It looks the same to me. I don't even know if it has any new features. So, uh, whatever. Anyway, 1.3 works better. I, th I like it. Love the G36C because it's a beast gun. I get distracted by my own gameplays. Oh, that's what this commentary is about. I was going to talk to you guys about podcasting. I, I haven't had time to really look into it a whole bunch, and I can't figure out if you're going to need a capture card or not, or if you're just going to be able to record your gameplays and commentate them and upload them on YouTube just using the podcasting theater mode type feature, which that would be awesome. I, I have no problem with that. I'm sure the quality wouldn't be as high as an HD PVR, but that would definitely be cool, but I, I can't say for sure if that's true. Either way, guys, I think the whole podcasting feature is going to make YouTube or Twitch or any of that kind of stuff kind of explode. That's my feelings on it. I think that that the YouTube community is going to like really get into this or like the whole the whole online internet community type thing with that goes with Call of Duty is going to going to take off because of this podcasting feature and then also just because the game is big like the game is growing and people are watching it more on youtube or twitch or whatever so i feel like even though a lot of people were like oh the the, the big time commentators they got into it in modern warfare 2 and that's true but i feel like if you could get into it now or before the podcasting comes out you might have a chance to you know, if you have talent to still get up there, still get kind of like, you know, get to a point where you have a lot of subscribers. And that's what this video is about. I wanted to try to help people out who are thinking about making a Call of Duty channel or a gaming channel in general, or, um, you know, might, might be tossing around or actually know that they want to. Uh, if you can't afford a capture card and you're, you're planning on this thing, having a capture mode to get yourself started, that's fine too. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys just real quick about the difference of having like 10 subscribers and the difference of having 10 subscribers and 100 subscribers. And it might not sound like a big difference, but guys, it is huge. Like being there, I don't have 10,000 subscribers, so I can't tell you the difference between having 10 and 10,000 and 5,000. But I know that <clears throat> if you're starting out with nothing on your channel, nobody's watching it, you have no subscribers or like three subscribers or whatever, and nobody's watching your videos, it is so hard to get anybody to look at your videos. I don't care how good you are because my first videos weren't great, but they weren't bad, I don't think. I mean, you guys can watch them, but I don't think that they were terrible, but literally could get no views on them, which that means no subs, means no traffic coming to my channel. And it's it's like a, it's like an exponential thing. Like the, the more views you have, the more subs you have, the more you're gonna get. So. If you can start out, if this COD commentary or the, the whole COD casting thing is actually, I have no idea how I didn't die here. What the heck? But anyway, if it's going to actually take off like YouTube, like I think it's going to, 
then you're going to want to get in as fast as you can. And if you even have 50 subscribers and everybody else is getting into it with zeros, you're going to have an advantage on them. Um, so I kind of want to help you guys with that. And my advice for that is to start now or to start before it comes out. And you're saying, how can I start making gameplays and videos before it comes out? I don't understand that. Well, I'm not saying you should start making gameplays and videos before it comes out, but, but start your channel up. Start your channel up, get on your Facebook, get on your Twitter, talk to your, if you're still in high school, talk to your friends in high school, say, hey, I'm making this channel. Whenever Black Ops 2 comes out and the podcasting thing comes out, I'm planning on making videos. And look up how to do it so that the first night it comes out or the second night it comes out or whatever, you can throw up as many videos as you possibly can. Because that time difference between you doing it then and the people maybe doing it, starting it up and starting their channel up that weekend is going to be huge. If you can get yourself a few subscribers when they have none, you're going to have a huge advantage. So I would suggest now getting whatever you can get. Talk to your friends. If you could get, you know, I probably have 25 friends, maybe even less that actually support my channel. And if you guys are watching that, thank you watching this video. Thanks guys. But, um, really my friends didn't really want to support me. They weren't really interested in it. And the more my channel grows, the more people are interested in it. But they like most of my subscribers and stuff is just from YouTube and what I have obtained on YouTube. Um, but if you're in high school and you still have a lot of friends who are into call of duty and you make a channel up, tell them to subscribe to your channel. And then whenever you put a video up, let them know if you can get, if you can even get 30 people to subscribe to your channel, you all already have an advantage so i think that would be cool guys it's something that i wish i would have done when i started making my channel it would have made it a lot easier because going from 10 subs to 100 subs was one heck of a journey it was really hard to do um, and if you can already start off with 50 man your life would be so much easier you'd have a leg up on everybody else starting this podcasting thing and you could have a chance to make your channel grow nice and just full so uh, maybe that helped you guys out. Maybe not. Little advice to try to help you guys out for watching me. Um, so I appreciate it. This is an older gameplay. Hope you guys liked it. Peace.